Hey guys, another week of playing video has passed, and you know what that means. New week, new event rewards. And among all the free stuff, I am most excited for the free tier 4 pet. Ah yes, the tier 4 pet is definitely the best reward that they gave out. So uh, I think I will main Megu now? So <laughs> let's just use this character weight. And inventory exchange coupon. Farewell, Mr. Ninja. Okay, so in the first day of the week, I want to remind you all that you can take a weekly quest from the NPC Liana for a huge amount of contribution XP. It's the quest with a select one option. You don't even have to do anything out of the ordinary if you like grinding choose the subjugation quest. If you're into life scaling, there's a quest for that as well. So make sure you choose the quest appropriate for you and eventually before the week ends, the quest should just complete without you thinking about it. We got 6 otters this week. If you can turn all of them into T3 pets, that would help us get another upgrade. Uh, flashback. No, there's no way I'm buying another otter. While waiting for another otter, we finished the last part of our Barrier of Infestation quest, which helped us gain one more AP. Now all we lack is the AP from Thieves Journal. I checked my pre-orders and found out that I only lack two more beds. Everything else is ready. I searched the materials needed to craft the beds and they were all easily available so I decided to just craft the beds myself. All journals done. 250 AP and 314 DP which is the maximum you can get on seasons. Feels amazing man. After doing those, we got the otter that we need. And boom! Just two more T4 pets. 210 fairy petals. Exchange. 105 sealed fairy wings. Let's hope that we can get at least one radiant fairy. No, we didn't get it. Only five brilliant fairies. I'm just going to keep them for now. I don't want to spend the silver on upgrading them into Regent. Well, at least not right now. Then we went to Logia Farm and did our Rift Echoes. This was my first time doing them since making this account, so I had a lot of them. But when it was my turn to open the Rifts, my party was like, Good night, GG, thank you all. So I was like, no bedtime for you do mine. Then I checked how many rifts I got on me and I had 70. We did the rifts for about 5 more minutes and they just left. To be honest, I didn't think it was worth the time doing them and I didn't like doing them so I just sold the rift fragments and trashed the remainder of my rift echoes. Whoa, what is this? I never encountered this before. I'm guessing this is kind of like how in Dregan sometimes Karma spawns and gives a chest. Okay, maybe it's not like Dregan because it's been like 5 minutes and this thing's not over yet. Layton, I remember when I was grinding in Katuga, when Layton spawns, I have a high chance of getting the necklace. That's it? Where's my rewards? Two Vala accessory box? What? So yeah, that was kind of disappointing, but every time I had Agris, I would grind at Centaurs. But most of my time, I spent at Waragon Nest. Didn't take long to get the first map piece. I got two out of the four map pieces fairly quickly. I got one in Centaurs from the past episode, so I was determined to get the Archaeologist map. I didn't grind in any other spots for the entire week, despite the terrible silver per hour. Well, this clip right here is like 2 hours before weekly maintenance. If I don't get the map piece before maintenance, I would have to continue the grind at Pilaku Jail, which I'm not looking forward to doing because I hate going into the desert. I popped some more drop rate scrolls and I was sitting at 343.5% drop rate and it worked. We actually got it. However, we still need the last piece at Centaurs and the treasure event is not getting extended. On top of that, when we arrived that centaur someone's already there okay i'm going to pretend that i don't see him on the minimap
He messed up. My clone actually saved me there. But after that, I got wrecked. Oh man, I used my dash. Ah, uh, I kinda know what he's doing because I played Suck Ninja, but I'm too slow to react. Eventually, he left, and it was nighttime already, so we were able to reach 300% drop rate. I had very little time left but we don't stop grinding until the game doesn't let you play. And that is how we got the final map piece. Now for the moment of truth. Did we get any duplicates? Wait, enter quantity? Wait, does that mean... Oh no. No, I think it means that's duplicate. That's a duplicate right there. No. Oh my god, please. No, not like this. Okay, let's check this. I have very little hope. Exchange. I thought I clutched it just before the event ended. Man, that sucks. And I will leave the video here. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one.